This is MikeBot. I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing on this ZYT Wi-Fi 6E AX210 PCI Express Wi-Fi card. This card takes PCI Express times one, but it fits in your time 16 slot or times eight, whatever you have on your uh, motherboard. This is backwards compatible. The reason I'm doing a unboxing and review on this is because I do have a little mini series going on with uh, different Wi-Fi adapters and so far they've all sucked. So I'm gonna give it a try with this one now. This one here claims to be able to do 5,374 megabits per second, as well as uh, have Bluetooth 5.2 built into it. And it also has the 2.4, 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz frequency. It's supposed to have an Intel chip. Let me zoom in on that, see? All right, so some other functions of this card are the uh, MI, MIMO, so multi-user, multi-in, multi-out, as well as the uh, built-in heatsink with this specific model. So there's two models of this card on Amazon right now. There's um, this version here, which is the AX210. Uh, I believe the other one is actually called AX210 as well. Uh, just one has a heatsink and the other doesn't. So look out for that. It's a couple dollars more for the heatsink, something you definitely want on your card. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the unboxing here. So first thing we have is a small bracket. You got uh, the cable here, I believe that connects into the USB and that connects into the card. Little screwdriver, a couple extra screws. And then you got the card itself right here. You got two gigantic antennas. Apparently a CD. I still have a CD DVD drive, not many people do. And then a Chinese manual. Hopefully there's English, yes there is. Okay, so I believe this does support Windows 10, Windows 11. Not too sure about Mac, but it does do Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm just gonna carefully pull the card out here. So PCI Express times one. ZYT AX 210S. So the S has the heatsink and the non S model doesn't. So that's where the antennas will screw in, like so. I'm not really going to do that on camera. I said it's a quick unboxing and then mainly you're going to be showing you the speeds this card is capable of. Not sure if I'm going to show you an installation. If I do, I will include it. So this cable here is, uh, like I said, it's for the Bluetooth. So this has to go into a USB port on your motherboard so hopefully you have one typically it says f underscore usb one or whatever i will double check my motherboard to see if i have one if i don't the bluetooth won't work not a big deal because i don't care i already have bluetooth on my motherboard so that's it for the unboxing so i'm going to go ahead and uh, get this put into my pc and then start some speed tests All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the install right now of the uh, card itself. So for those of you that are all into the latest and greatest PCs, I've built hundreds of custom gaming rigs in my entire life. I get my system is really, really old. Uh, I built it a long time ago. Uh, it cost me a lot of money, but seven years I'm going strong and I don't game anymore. So it works, I don't care how old it is. Um, yeah, so basically, you're going to need to get to your PCI Express slot. You want to put a static strap on. Uh, I don't have one on me at the moment. And given how old this computer is, I really don't care to use a static strap. And not only that, I'm going to turn off the power to my power supply. And then that should uh, basically help eliminate any issues. So I'll just, uh, I'm going to undo the camera here really quick from the tripod just to show everybody where the... PCI Express slot is. So my PCI Express slots are right here. So I am, this is a PCI slot. I'm gonna use this one up here because I want the times 16 slot. I could even use this one down here actually. I believe that one is a times four or a times eight, so it should still work. And then for those of you curious about my very old ancient system, very dusty to me it was the greatest back then this is a really old board so the other thing I want to look for here is the USB slot which I believe 
This one is a spare one right here. I will double check it before plugging it in. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the card in and I'm not gonna be able to do it on camera because my tripod doesn't go that low. So I'm gonna pause it here, install it. It's basically as simple as removing the screw from here, clipping the card in without the static case on it, of course, and then screwing the card back in with the screw. And I will show you all how I did that afterwards, but I'm sure most of you already know how to do this stuff. All right, so I've connected the card into my PCI Express slot. As you can see, it's firmly pressed in. There's the other PCI Express slot I have. That's my PCI slot, and um, that's how old this board is. Um, I don't remember the reasoning behind buying this board back in the day, but I used to be into gaming, so. Anyway, so I plugged in the uh, USB cable, uh, sorry, the Bluetooth cable from there into my spare USB port I have there. I've connected the antennas in the back and I'm pretty much good to go. I'm not using the smaller bracket. I have a full ATX case, um, so I just put it in the full slot. But if you were to uh, switch out the bracket, you'd have to basically unscrew the bottom two screws on the big bracket and connect this one in instead. Uh, and then you can put it into the uh, smaller case there. Uh, sorry, the sm uh, yeah, smaller case with the smaller bracket or whatever setup you have. So anyway, that's it for setup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my PC, get the drivers installed and run some speed tests. All right, it's speed test time. So basically I'm gonna be going through everything really quick here, so I'll try to keep up. So the card itself is 1.2 gigabits for some reason. It's supposed to be giving me 2.4 or higher from what I've seen online. So I'm just gonna go through the settings here really quick. So these are the settings I used. Uh, I'm using Windows 10, so therefore I can only do the five gigahertz network. And then these are just some of the different settings I played around with to try to give it maximum speed. Uh, none of them worked for me, so I am returning the card. The card is no good to me. Could be because my motherboard's old or just the card doesn't work as advertised. So you can pause at any time here and go through these settings slowly. I'm not gonna go through them one by one as I'm speaking. So the other one that was really important to me was the boost. I enabled that as well. I also disabled uh, six gigahertz wideband since I can't use six gigahertz on my PC. All right, so next part here I wanna mention that's very important is the drivers. They are included on the DVD itself. They don't automatically install on my Windows 10 machine. So I had to put them in using the drive. So as you can see, I have the Intel AX210 driver as well as the Bluetooth driver. I took those off the CD. And then I went on the website and I uh, basically enabled, uh, installed the drivers. So uh, here's the first speed test I'm doing on here. As you can see, the speeds are uh, far from gigabit. I do have three gigabit service. And as you can see, here's another speed test with the performance running on the left hand side. Again, it's giving me under 400 megabits. I paid for a gigabit card that advertises up to 5,400. I expect to get close to that, especially because I have three gigabit service. So I'm going to go ahead and prove to everyone here that I do have gigabit on my PC by enabling the ethernet card and disabling the Wi-Fi and running a speed test. I will also run a fiber test showing the three gigabit service I have into my house as well. So here we go. I'm opening up the uh, speed test here. I got the ethernet performance metrics on the left. And as you can see, it's giving me pretty close to gigabit service using the hard wire, and that's using a CAT 5E cable, not a CAT 6 cable. So uh, this Wi-Fi card is far, far from meeting my expectations, unfortunately. So here's my fiber test that I did. As you can see, 3.21 up, 3.21 down. I have fiber right into my house. So now I'm going to run one more quick little speed test here on the Wi-Fi card, just to prove one more time that uh, the issue is with this Wi-Fi card, or again, it could be just my old motherboard, but I doubt it. So uh, that's basically it. So here's the speed test numbers speak for themselves. This will be returned to Amazon. That's it for now. So we've seen the speed tests, you've seen the card, you've seen the card installation. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm always really quick to reply with the comments. Uh, anything else you have or want to mention, go ahead and feel free to leave it below in the comment section. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot out.